quadrilaterals defined by the points A, minus 4, non is 3, B, 0, minus 1, C, 2, 3, and D, minus 2, 1. Show that A, B, C, D is a rhombus and calculate its area. Okay, we need to show that the diagonals are perpendicular to each other and the intercept and intercept at the midpoint on each diagonal. So, find the gradients of the diagonals using m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2, x1. So the diagonal will be ac. The gradient of the diagonal of the point a minus 4 minus 3 to c2, 3. We'll call that one x1, y1. We'll call this one x2, y y2 and using this formula we're going to get that mac is going to be 3 minus minus 3 divided by 2 minus minus 4 that's going to give me uh, 3 minus minus 3 is 6 and 2 minus minus 4 is 6 6 divided by 6 is 1 now the gradient of the diagonal b 0 minus 1 to d minus 2 1 so b to d Again, call this one x1, y1, this one x2, y2. We get m, b, d is going to be 1, minus minus 1, divided by minus 2, minus 0, which is 2, divided by minus 2, which is minus 1. Now, the product of the gradients is going to be 1 times minus 1, which is minus 1, which is the condition for Di uh, perpendicular lines. If the gradient, the product of the gradients is minus one, then the diagonals are perpendicular. Right now, we've got to find the show that the, the intercept at the midpoint on each diagonal. So the midpoint of the diagonal A C A minus four minus three to C two three. Again, putting in x one y one x two y two. The midpoint formula is x one plus y two over two comma y1 y2 divided by 2 so adding together the x coordinates minus 4 plus 2 divided by 2 and then adding together the y coordinates so we get minus 3 plus 3 over 2 that gives me minus 2 over 2 which is minus 1 that gives me nothing and then doing the same for the other diagonal b 0 minus 1 to uh, d minus 2 1 Again, putting in x1, y1, x2, y2. We're going to have uh, 0 pl uh, plus minus minus 2, or 0 minus 2 over 2, over minus 1 plus 1 over 2, which again gives me minus 1, 0. So these two are the same point, therefore they intersect at, at that same point, which is the midpoint along the diagonals. So the diagonals at the midpoint of the intersect at the midpoint along the diagonals and are perpendicular to each other. The diagonals are perpendicular to each other. Therefore, ABC is a rhombus. So here's a diagram of that. So we found that, that gradient and that gradient, we found that they're perpendicular. And then we found that the intercept at the midpoint M on both diagonals. Now the area of the rhombus is a half times the product of the diagonals. So the length of the diagonal uh, A minus 4 to minus, minus 3, uh, minus 4 minus 3 and C to 3 is given by this formula, the application of Pythagoras theorem, square root of x2 minus x1 all squared plus C y2 minus y1 all squared. So this length here AC will be 2 minus minus 4 squared, 2 minus minus 4 squared, plus 3 minus 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 3 squared, which is 6 squared, plus 6 squared, so 6 squared is 32, for, sorry, 36, 36 times 2 is the square root of, that becomes the square root of 72. So the length of the diagonal B, 0 minus 1 to d minus 2 1 
uh, is again putting x1, y1, x2, y2. We're going to have minus 2, minus 0, all squared, plus 1, minus, minus 1, squared. Be careful with the minus sign. So we're going to get square root of minus 2 squared plus the square root of plus uh, 2 squared, which is the square root of 8. Now note that these two lengths are different. Note the diagonals are not equal in length, therefore this cannot be also cannot be a square. So the area of the rhombus A B C D is going to be half times the square root of root seventy two times root eight. Now root eight is two root two from our rules of third. So the twos here will cancel out. And then 2 times 72 is 144, and the square root of 144 is 12 square units. So this has been a video to show you how to show that four points form a rhombus, and then find the area of the given rhombus. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.